Yes! There's some nice stuff in that. Oh, look at that blue. G'day, g'day, and welcome back to my channel. I'm out here at the river again today to film you guys another video. I was really stoked to see all the feedback on the first video, and it's really got me motivated to keep pushing forward and make some more, so here we are. We're back at the same spot at the moment. Um, because I'm under a bit of a time constraint today because of the weather. So hopefully it holds off enough for me to get you guys some sapphires. So let's get right into it. So I'm just going to do a test pan of the wash we've been doing on this side of the rock. And then I'm going to do a test pan on the other side of the rock as well. Just to see where I want to be at for the day because I don't have too much time. Three shovels. So I've got one bucket from just over there and this first bucket from over there which you saw. So we'll just do the first bucket. It's always good to do a test pan, test sieve, no matter what we're looking for, just to see, just to see what's in the sieve, see what's in, see what's in the river you're working, and um, you can go from there. Each river will be different too, so if you go to a new river you, you sort of have to spend a couple of trips learning, learning the indicators and all the rest of it. Not really much in the top sieve, which isn't promising. We should have a quite a coarse wash. I did see a lot of spinels go into the bucket on on the other side. So I'm nearly thinking that that's the way to go. We'll oh. soon find out. Spinels in there, obviously, but it was three shovels worth, and I want to be getting a lot more spinel than that in three shovels. So, I don't know about that one, but this bucket over here is promising. That is a beautiful crystal right there. In the mouth. And I'm expecting to see a lot more spinels from this one. From three. Three shovels, that's definitely a lot better than the other one. And there's a little garnet. Beautiful. Oh, another one. Okay, yeah, that is definitely, definitely the spot. I think I'm gonna be getting my wash from. And yeah, that seems to be all of it, but I feel like that's a promising spot. So let's get it. Oh, 
look at the spinel in that. There seems to be a deep, a deep crevice down here and another big rock right behind it. So all the heavies would have just got deposited and stuck in there. Yes, there's some nice stuff in that. Oh, look at that blue. And that one. Oh, that's the spot to be. Oh, I'm keen to see what's in that next bucket. We're not even at the bottom hitting rock yet. We're still just digging into sand in that crevice down there. What the fuck? It looks like a creature. That was a pretty nice sieve. If um if all the buckets can be like that I think I think we'll be we will we, we, I think we will be doing well. That's a lot of garnet. Beautiful. Looks like everything. So I've been sieving a couple of buckets out on camera, I've got three buckets sieved and I was sieving this out and I just see that there's a big dome in the middle so I um I figure that I'd switch the camera on and give it a flip on camera just in case there's any little rippers mm, it's actually not as crazy as I thought it was going to be normally when you see a bump like that it means that you've got a ridiculous amount of heavies, but it actually, um, it wasn't too bad. All good, depending on how you're looking at it. There really wasn't too much. Well, I got my bloody hopes up for nothing. Still good though. This is everything we got from those three buckets I just did off camera. I flipped one on camera there. Um, so really not actually the craziest amount from our test pan. I've just been in the same spot. So I, um, I might actually move spots. The rain looks like it possibly is gonna go around me but I'm not exactly sure 
I might risk it and walk up with her a little bit further. Oh. So, we're just going to have a little bit of a break here and eat a little orange and have a little chat. I, um, I have a couple things to say. Uh, I just want to thank all the new subscribers that watched my last video and decided to subscribe to the channel. I, I really appreciate it. I think it was 14 subscribers in the, the two days. It's the most subscribers I've ever gotten in in such a short amount of time. So it really, really motivates me to keep keep pushing forward and keep making more videos for you guys. I, um, I'd also like to thank everyone that gave me feedback and told me what I could do better, told me what was already good. And um, that really helps out. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really stoked to be, to be actually gaining some traction, and to, to be getting an audience, and. Hopefully, we just go up and up from here. I, um, I've been thinking about putting together a giveaway for 100 subscribers. I've been thinking of putting together a couple of bags of pay dirt and um, giving away a couple of little bags of pay dirt for to maybe like two, two or three people when I hit 100 subscribers. So in my next video probably I'll, I will have sorted all of that out and figured everything out and how to, how you guys can enter that. But when I hit 100 subscribers, I'll be, I'll be definitely doing that. Mm. My girlfriend's mom. She's such a good gardener. She, um, she has that many different fruits and veggies in her garden. You just go out there, pick whatever you want. The nicest, freshest orange you'll ever eat. Well, I'm going to sit here and enjoy my orange and I'll come back when I'm um, back at shoveling. Okay, so I've just done a test pan from just in here, right on this drop off where these plants are. I've just dug through a couple of the roots and pulled some wash out. And um, there's a spinel sitting right there in the top sea of a piece of metal and some glass. And those are all good indicators of nice heavies. Seeing a big spinel like that on, I think it was three bucket, uh, three shovels worth, in straight into the sieve. So, um, I think instead of going upstream, I'm gonna give it a crack there and see if I can't pull a big one out. Okay, let's see what's in that bucket. Another piece of blackjack, and another. That's um, that's a really good sign. Time to sieve out the little sieve from that spot. I found two big blackjacks in the top sieve there, so hopefully 
That's a good spot. That's not only the best sieve we've had today. A lot of blackjack in that. I um, actually don't know about sapphire and stuff though. I can see a bit of garnet. Heavies though. It's definitely a good spot. Okay, so I'm just about to head in and get my last bucket because it's getting pretty dark and overcast, and I think it's going to start raining soon. I don't want my camera to get wet. I don't want any of any of my gear to get wet. I don't really care about everything else. Just all the camera gear. So I'm just going to go in here. And I have pulled sapphires out from underneath this little tree thing here. So um, I'm just going to grab a quick bucket from here and then sieve her out and head off home. It's not the longest video today, but I was just really excited to get out here and film something else for you guys. Hopefully next video will be um will be a lot longer and i've even scouted a couple of different spots so i might be going crystal fossicking soon out at kingsgate or down the old grafton road i think i um I think I'm gonna try my luck trying to find some sapphires or I've heard there's old gold mines down that way so I might have to get a pan and do a series of me learning how to gold pan because that'd be pretty interesting. Definitely be investing in a yabby pump when I can to um, suck all this concentrate off the hard bedrock instead of shoveling. Because when you're shoveling bedrock, you're sort of just scraping the bottom and you're missing every little nook and cranny down there. You can feel it as you're going along, the bumps you're hitting, the rocks you're missing. So, with a yabby pump, it's practically just like a mini dredge. You just suck everything out. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll do two buckets. Can't hurt. That's a nice little blue. Is it 
the floor. So I've just received a little pile out of this to bring all the heavies to the bottom. And I'll show you, that's a big one. And I'll show you what I do to get all the concentrates home. So I just try and get under as much of it as I can. And that's me all done. Okay guys, so the weather's picking up a little bit now and I'm just about to pack all my stuff up. I've just done the last sims and sieved out all my heavies in my pile to take home as concentrate. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, there, will, there will be still some more clips of us back at home with the sapphires on a mirror so you guys can see them a bit better. So we're back at home now, it's the next day and got all the sapphires and gun it out on the mirror this is the biggest one we've got nice clear blue um, that's all the rest of them so a pretty good haul overall We did actually go all right today. I I didn't think it was too good of a day, but then I, I had a look and it seems like we've we've got a decent amount. But any day's a good day when you're on the river. So I hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.